Top Amazon Reviewers Getting reviews from top Amazon reviewers can be very lucrative. These reviewers are, generally speaking, trusted by Amazon, so their reviews probably count for more. Plus, they have followers too, so their reviews get voted up and they have a top reviewer tag next to their name, so customers trust them too. In other words, if they give you a review next to their name on the review, it will have a top reviewers tag. Now, most of the time, if you contact these reviewers, they are happy to review your product. So it is a great source for any seller. However, you may find that you need to contact a lot of these top reviewers to actually get some reviews. It's a patience game. Now, a disclaimer about using top Amazon reviewers. You need to be super confident your product is top quality. The vast majority of these reviewers are almost doing this as an occupation. So they are going to be very honest. If your product is not up to scratch, they are going to say so. Next, you need to be patient and courteous. These people hold a wonderful asset for you, so treat them as such. Always be polite and courteous. Lastly, always ship the item to them. Never offer them a coupon. Now, Amazon make it fairly easy to see who are the top reviewers. However, not all the top reviewers list their contact information on their Amazon profile, so it's not always that straightforward. Now, personally, I think there are enough reviewers to work with that do share their information to just skip the ones that don't. However, you can do some extra investigation like looking for them on social sites like Facebook if you really want. But as I said, personally, I think you just skip people who don't have their information. Now, you can visit the top reviewers on Amazon using this URL. It's amazon.com forward slash review forward slash top dash reviewers. Alternatively, you can just search Google for Amazon top reviewers. Now, some guidelines. First, just don't pick the reviewers at random. You want to try and find reviewers who generally review your type of products. In other words, they're interested in your niche. If there is no email contact, then try whatever contact they include. For instance, they might include their website. Go to their website, contact them that way. Make the contact message you send them personal. Do not use the same mass email for every reviewer. Take a look at their profile, take a look at what they review, and make the message personal. Lastly, I've said it twice, I think, already. Always be courteous, and don't forget to say please and thank you. So, here we are at the top reviewers page. As you can see, there are literally thousands of reviewers. Now, to save a bit of time, I've opened the top six in new tabs. So, let's go and take a look at what you can see. So here's the first reviewer's profile. Now, unfortunately, they used to have a lot more information on these pages. For instance, their interests and tags showing you what they'd reviewed in terms of categories, etc. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case. So you need to do a little bit more investigation. The first thing you want to do is click on See More, the link underneath the initial summary. Now, it's going to give you the helpful votes they've had and their reviewer ranking and a couple of tags here, number one reviewer and number one hall of fame. But as you can see, there is no mention here of any contact information. You might go and use their username and try and find their Facebook profile or something like that. Personally, I don't think it's worth that extra effort. There are plenty of other top reviewers, so I would literally close that tab. The next one, Jackie Cooper. Now, as you can see, she's actually put her email in her description even above the fold of the see more button so she's obviously keen on being contacted now when you click on that button it's actually going to give you a pop-up box and in that box it will have their email address but when you close the pop-up it will also have their email address here below okay so now we know we've got our contact information but do we want her to review our products so we can go down and look at the products that she's reviewed before and see if there's any kind of trend for instance if she covers a lot of electronics and we've got an electronics product, it might be a better choice. Or if she's into pets and you've got a pet product. But if she's into pets and you've got electronics, you might want to give her a miss. Now it is generalizing to scroll down and look at all our products, but it's worth doing. Personally, what I do when I go through these lists is I actually create my own spreadsheet of top reviewers. I'll have their name, their rank, their email, and roughly what kind of products they tend to review. But if it's a very mixed bag, like Jackie here seems to review a lot of different things, although there is a lot of electronics, but she's reviewing a lot of different types of products, so it's worth contacting her. 
And at the end of the day, if you contact her, it doesn't cost you anything to contact her. And when she looks at the product, she can make her own mind up whether she's actually going to want to review it. But let's look at the next one. So we've got J Chambers, not seeing anything above the fold. So we'll click on see more. And here we go again, send an email. And again, it opened the pop-up box. But once again, when I close that, you, we've got the email here that you can copy. So again, I would go down and look at the type of products he reviews. It looks like he pretty much reviews anything and everything. Um, so he might be someone you might want to contact. But remember, if you can find a reviewer that really loves reviewing your type of product um, or your category of product, then actually it's even more worthwhile to contact them. Take a look at the next one. Again, nothing above the fold. I'm going to click on see more. And again, we've got send email, but we've also got a website. So if there wasn't an email address here, you click on the website and look for contact information on that website. Again, you can scroll down and look at the products. Look at one more, We've got Bob Tobias. Again, nothing above the fold, but if we click on see more, we've got an email button again. Now, sometimes they will show their lists like Robert Tobias, so it's Bob Tobias. So this is this reviewer's list of items that he'd like to get. And if we click on it, you can see the type of thing he's after. Now, this is perfect. If you were actually sending a baby video monitor, you're absolutely straight in there. You know he would like one of those products, so the odds are he's definitely gonna to want to review one. So it's always worth looking at their lists too. But let's just take a look at one more example. As you can see, we've got nothing here, no lists. Gonna click on see more, and again, we've got the email address. So that is how simple it is to look for reviewers. And don't think you just have to look at the top 10. You can go down a lot further than that. And you can be really picky if you want to be. Only choose reviewers that review your type of products. Only choose reviewers that have something in their list. It's completely up to you. There are literally thousands of reviewers. Personally, I would stick to the top 100, but even going beyond that, it's still a great way of getting reviews from reviewers who are respected by Amazon. So now we've had a look at how we find these people and how we contact them, what do we actually ask them? Well, I'm not gonna give you a template because I don't want hundreds of people sending out exactly the same emails to all these top reviewers because it's probably gonna start annoying them. So I'll give you some ideas. First of all, say that you found their profile on the top Amazon reviewers list, or that you saw one of their reviews on a product you were looking at. Tell them you have a product you think they would be interested in reviewing, and then obviously give them the product listing so they can look for themselves. Then say something along the lines of that you would love to send the product in exchange for an honest, unbiased review. Pretty much that simple. Don't make it a huge, long email. Do you read huge, long emails? The odds are you don't, so don't expect them to. Keep it short and succinct and to the point, but be friendly. Make this a friendly email just like you were talking to them face to face. This is an invaluable way of getting reviews. Now, generally speaking, you won't have to tell these guys about the disclosure. They'll know all about it, but it doesn't hurt to put it in there if they come back to you and say, yes, please send me the product because then reply to them, tell them you're sending the product. And then at the end of that, just say, please make sure you add a disclosure saying that you got this product for free. It's that simple. So now you've learned how to find and contact top reviewers to get reviews for your product. In the next lesson, you're going to learn about how to convert seller feedback that mentions your product into actual product reviews. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.